Hello fellow soil sorcerers, welcome back to the channel where we dig deep into the mysteries of garden magic. Today we're putting two unlikely contenders head to head in what might be the most surprising soil showdown you've ever witnessed. The ancient mysterious power of biochar against the humble everyday cardboard. One promises a garden revolution that lasts centuries, and the other might shock you with what it can accomplish in just a single season, which will reign supreme in this ultimate battle for your garden's soul. Before we dive in, I'm curious, what's your current soil secret weapon? Are you team biochar, riding the wave of this ancient carbon technology? Maybe you're a cardboard convert turning trash into garden treasure, or perhaps you're still searching for that perfect amendment to transform your growing space? Drop your answer in the comments because today, we're not just comparing these amendments, we're crowning a champion for your 2025 garden strategy. Contender 1. Biochar's Ancient Power Let's start with our first heavyweight contender Biochar, often called Black Gold by those in the know. This isn't some trendy garden fad, this is technology that dates back thousands of years to the Amazon rainforest, where indigenous peoples created terra preta those incredibly fertile dark soils that still outperform modern agricultural plots today. But what exactly is biochar? Picture charcoal, but with a purpose beyond your weekend barbecue. Biochar is created through a fascinating process called pyrolysis, where organic materials like wood chips, agricultural waste, or even bamboo are heated to extremely high temperatures. We're talking 700 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, in an oxygen-starved environment. This process doesn't just burn the material, it transforms it into a stable, carbon-rich structure that's absolutely mind-blowing when you see it under a microscope. So, the science behind biochar's power really lies in its incredible porosity. Imagine, if you will, a microscopic apartment complex for soil microbes, with thousands of tiny rooms and hallways that create this enormous surface area. Just think about it. A single gram of quality biochar can have a surface area that's, honestly, about the size of a football field. This structure acts like the ultimate microscopic sponge, capturing and holding on to water and nutrients that would otherwise leach away from your plant's hungry roots. Now here's where biochar gets truly revolutionary, its longevity. While most organic amendments break down and disappear within a season or two, biochar persists in your soil for hundreds, even thousands of years. What this really means is that every handful you add today is still working for your great-great-grandchildren's gardens. The carbon locked within its structure doesn't just stay put, it actively improves your soil's ability to hold nutrients and water, while providing permanent housing for the beneficial microorganisms that make healthy soil ecosystems thrive. The microbial benefits are, honestly, where biochar really shines. Those countless pores and cavities create protected spaces where beneficial bacteria and fungi can establish thriving colonies. These microorganisms are the unsung heroes of soil health, breaking down organic matter, making nutrients available to plants, and creating the complex soil food web that separates mediocre gardens from extraordinary ones. Biochar essentially gives these microscopic workers both shelter and workspace, dramatically increasing their populations and activity levels. Now let's turn our attention to our underdog champion plain old cardboard. Yes, that same material that brought your latest online shopping haul to your doorstep is about to blow your mind with its garden superpowers. This is the classic David vs. Goliath story of the amendment world, where household waste transforms into a soil salvation hero. Cardboard's journey from shipping material to soil amendment represents one of gardening's most brilliant examples of turning trash into treasure. Every year millions of tons of cardboard end up in landfills, but savvy gardeners have discovered that this humble material can completely revolutionize how we approach soil building and garden management. The magic isn't in what cardboard is, but in what it becomes and what it accomplishes during its transformation. The weed suppression capabilities of cardboard are nothing short of spectacular. When laid flat over problem areas, cardboard creates an impenetrable barrier that blocks sunlight completely, effectively smothering even the most persistent weeds without a single drop of herbicide. This sheet mulching technique, sometimes called lasagna gardening, 
allows you to reclaim overgrown areas and convert lawn to garden beds without the backbreaking work of digging or tilling. The cardboard essentially starves weeds of the light they need for photosynthesis while still allowing water to penetrate to the soil below. But cardboard's contribution goes far beyond simple weed control. As it breaks down over 6 to 12 months depending on moisture levels and soil conditions, cardboard adds valuable organic matter to your soil. This decomposition process feeds the very earthworms and soil microorganisms that create healthy, living soil. The carbon-rich material provides the brown component that balances nitrogen-rich green materials in your soil's natural composting process. The earthworm attraction factor cannot be overstated. These soil engineers absolutely love decomposing cardboard and their feeding activity creates those precious worm castings that gardeners pay premium prices for in bags. As earthworms process the cardboard, they're simultaneously creating channels through your soil that improve drainage and aeration while depositing nutrient-rich castings throughout the root zone. It's like having a free 24-hour soil improvement crew working beneath your plants. When we put these two contenders through their paces in real garden conditions, the results reveal fascinating insights that will change how you think about soil amendments forever. The performance differences aren't just academic, they translate into real measurable impacts on your garden's productivity and health. In terms of immediate impact, cardboard takes an early lead. Within weeks of application you'll notice dramatic weed suppression and increased earthworm activity. The moisture retention benefits become apparent during the first dry spell, as soil under cardboard mulch stays consistently moist while unmulched areas dry out. Plants growing in cardboard amended areas often show improved vigor during their first growing season especially, you know, when it comes to resisting water stress. However, biochar plays the long game with surgical precision. While its effects might be more subtle in the first season especially if you forget to charge it with nutrients beforehand, the long-term benefits really compound year after year. Soil structure improvements become increasingly apparent as the seasons pass with enhanced water infiltration during heavy rains and better moisture retention during droughts. The microbial community development creates a snowball effect where soil health improvements actually accelerate over time. The nutrient dynamics reveal some crucial differences in how these amendments serve your plants. Cardboard's decomposition can initially tie up nitrogen as soil microbes work to break down its carbon-rich fibers, which could potentially cause temporary yellowing in heavy feeding plants. This is easily managed by adding nitrogen-rich materials like grass clippings or compost alongside the cardboard, but it's an important thing to consider when timing your applications. Biochar, once properly charged with nutrients, acts like a savings account for soil fertility. Its negatively charged surfaces attract and hold on to positively charged nutrients like calcium, magnesium, and potassium, preventing them from washing away during heavy rains. This means fertilizers and organic amendments become more efficient, as plants can access these nutrients over extended periods, rather than losing them to leaching. After extensive analysis, the truth is both surprising and, honestly, kind of liberating. There really isn't a single winner in this showdown because these amendments excel in completely different roles. The real victory, if you ask me, comes from understanding when and how to deploy each one strategically in your garden ecosystem. Choose biochar when you're making a long-term investment in soil building. If you have sandy soils that drain too quickly, acidic conditions that limit plant growth, or depleted ground that needs fundamental improvement, biochar offers permanent solutions. It's especially valuable in areas with high rainfall where nutrient leaching is a constant problem, and it's really worth the investment in permanent garden beds where you want to build soil wealth that appreciates over decades. Cardboard emerges as your champion for immediate problem-solving and annual applications. When you need to quickly convert lawn to garden beds, suppress aggressive weeds, or create pathways that naturally decompose, cardboard delivers fast, effective results. It's also your go-to choice when budget constraints make premium amendments impractical for large areas. 
or when you're dealing with temporary growing spaces that just don't justify long-term investments. You know, the most sophisticated gardeners out there recognize that these amendments can really work together synergistically. Start with cardboard sheet mulching to suppress those pesky weeds and add some initial organic matter. Then go ahead and incorporate biochar into the planting holes or beds as you establish those permanent plantings. This combination gives you immediate weed control and organic matter input from the cardboard, while the biochar builds long-term soil structure and nutrient retention capacity. Now, for your 2025 garden strategy, it's important to consider your specific goals and constraints. If you're setting up new perennial beds, fruit trees, or permanent growing areas, think about budgeting for biochar as a one-time investment that pays dividends for decades. For those annual vegetable gardens, pathways, and weed management, embrace cardboard as a renewable resource that you can apply season after season. And remember, both amendments require proper application techniques to achieve optimal results. Biochar must be charged with nutrients before application to prevent temporary nutrient deficiencies. Meanwhile, cardboard should be kept moist and covered with additional mulch to prevent it from forming an impermeable barrier that blocks water infiltration. The future of your garden lies not in choosing sides in this showdown, but in understanding how to harness the unique strengths of both contenders. Whether you're drawn to biochar's ancient wisdom or cardboard's accessible practicality, both amendments offer pathways to healthier, more productive growing spaces. If this comparison has opened your eyes to new possibilities for your garden, make sure to subscribe to Soil Sorcery Studio for more deep dives into the science and art of soil building. Share this video with fellow gardeners who might be struggling with similar amendment decisions and let me know in the comments which approach you're planning to try this season. Until next time, keep digging deeper into the magic beneath your feet.